the 29.5 primary structure of roots. Now we have two different types of root systems. We have the tap root system and we have the fibrous root system. The fibrous root system is common in plants such as grass. Um, it does not have one primary root instead of oops. Instead it is a like a mat of roots um, that form pretty close to the surface of the ground so that way they can quickly absorb water when it rains. Or you can imagine grass being watered. Um, you're going to water just the, not for very long because the roots are right next to the surface. Whereas a taproot system, uh, a taproot is uh, generally a little bit larger. It's a primary root. It has uh, lateral roots coming off of it. A uh, taproot can extend, depending on the plant, pretty far down into the earth. Um, a tap root can also be like a storage root, um, maybe like a carrot or something like that would be a tap root. Now the root structure, um, there's a root cap that covers the tip. It's going to protect the root as it pushes through the soil. Uh, there's an apical meristem which produces the cap. So here would be the apical meristem on the tip of the root. This is where most of the um, primary growth is going to occur. This is the same that occurs in the shoot system of a plant. Um, this is why when we did the mitosis lab, the we looked at the root tips because this is where mitosis is occurring and um, the roots are growing primarily from this direction. Uh, these cells are undifferentiated, which means um, they will eventually turn into one of the three types of tissues, um, ground tissue, vascular tissue or dermal tissue. Um, now further up these cells are going to differentiate and become uh, different parts of the plant. You can see here in the plant we have the epidermis, the dermal tissue on the outside. We have the ground tissue, right here we have the cortex, and then we have the vascular tissue, the xylem and the phloem on the inside of the root forming the vascular cylinder. Uh, here we have lateral roots forming, no just kidding, <laughs> we have uh, root hairs forming from the epidermis. Now root hairs and lateral roots, uh, try not to keep, confuse them as I just did. Uh, now lateral roots are going to form from the pericycle, which is just one uh, cell thick, a layer, one cell thick. Um, and that's where new lateral roots are going to form from. Now lateral roots are going to have to push through the cortex and the epidermis to reach the soil, um, but they're going to help the, the plant absorb water and minerals. Then root hairs are a little bit smaller and those are extensions of the epidermal cells of the dermis. Now these root hairs only last for a couple days at a time. Uh, and this is a, develop, a germinating seed. You can see the, the root hairs or the little fuzz coming off of the developing root. Now, if we compare a dicot root to a monocot root. Now, a dicot is going to have the vascular cylinder in the middle with the xylem that transports the water and the phloem that transports the sugar um, surrounded by the pericycle, which is one uh, cell layer thick. And then we have the endodermis, which is in the purple here. Now the endodermis is, um, is sort of like waterproofed. So if the plant root is going to absorb water, so imagine it here on the, the epidermis, the water has to go into the plant. Now in order to get to the xylem to be transported, it's going to have to cross through this purple layer here, the endodermis. Now since it's uh, waterproofed, the water is going to have to pass through the cytoplasm of these cells. And so in a way, the endodermis is going to regulate how much water and which minerals are going to be absorbed by the xylem and the phloem. Now in a monocot root, um, there is no vascular uh, cylinder that you see here. It is organized in this way where we have our cortex, our endodermis, our pericycles, the same as the dicot. However, there is a pith in the monocot root system. We have our xylem, which are these 
uh, pinkish tubes that are going to transport water, and then we have our phloem, which is the blue part around the pink part that is going to transport the sugar. And that is our root structure.